Hello, my name is Michael Smith. I'm the museum director here at the National Model Aviation Museum with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It is the end of September 2017, and I'm here with Mr. Bob Seifleet, a four-time winner of the, the, national, the Grand National Champion Trophy. And we are here today to talk about the 1962 NATS and that event. And again, thank you for, for joining us. Um, did not know in terms of 1962, you had won in 1960. Uh, so what were you thinking, obviously not placing, uh, not winning it in 61, uh, what were you thinking in terms of getting ready for 1962? Yeah, well, in 1961, I did not compete in the nationals. <clears throat> I had started uh, uh, attending Northwestern University in, in Evanston, so I did not uh, attend that nationals, but uh, being that the 62 nationals was right there, uh, I thought that, well, maybe I'll, I'll try to fly the Nats. But for, you know, in, in 61 and into 62, I'd done very little flying. I had all my airplanes, but I'd done very little work. I was attending college and, uh, and also was attending summer classes to try to get it done. Because <laughs> the, the 1960 had been down in Dallas, right? but then the 1962 were going to be at Glenview Naval Air Station there in Illinois. Right. So obviously much closer for you in terms of travel because you had mentioned it uh, was a two and a half day drive down to Dallas. Um, so in terms of preparing then for uh, 1962, um, when did you decide that you were going to try to compete then that year? Well, I, th I think when, you know, when the Nationals entry blanks come out, I said, okay, I'll see what I can do here. And I really didn't put much, any effort or any pre-thought into it at all. I said, well, I'll enter and well, okay, I'll choose these events for the, for the high point and s see if I can get it done because I had classes <laughs> to attend besides flying the Nats. So the airplanes were ones that you already had that you weren't building anything new for I, that year? I had built nothing new since uh, 1960. I just had all my airplanes and that was it. I would attended a few contests in, in Illinois or around, you know, in 1960 and in 61 and into 62, but had done very little flying. Now what what events did you compete in for 62? I believe it was pretty much the same events I'd used in 1960, you know, half AA and B free flight. And I think I flew C free flight also. Uh, I had four gas events. And then I had uh, Wakefield and Mulva Hill I flew, and then half A speed and control line aerobatics again. And how did the, the flying field itself compare to the Dallas Nats? Well, it was bigger. And there was, uh, you had more area off field that you could chase into than Dallas. Dallas was kind of limited. So how did you do overall that year in terms of the different events? Do you recall? I think I got second in uh, F1C power, which I did not use as a high point event. <laughs> and uh, I placed second in ROW gas, which was another one I didn't used for high point, it just happened to be the way it went. <laughs> uh, but, I, but I had very good scores on all the, all, all the high point events. Uh, and then at the, again, at the air show is when you were uh, brought forth and awarded the two trophies that we have here. Right. And what, uh, what were your thoughts then having won it a second time? Well, I got lucky. <laughs> Having not r really f flown much for over a year uh, to that point, I felt that I had done pr pr pretty well, you know, not having much practice. Right. Particularly even control and aerobatics, I think uh, I hadn't flown the airplane in a year. Just went out and flew it. <laughs> now, having won uh, the second time, uh, what did you envision in terms of continuing to compete, was model aviation still something, obviously you were in school, uh, still something that you were going to continue on, or what were your thoughts there? Well, you know, being an avid competitor, I, uh, you know, wanted to continue. And at that point in time, I had developed a pretty strong 
uh, enthusiasm for the international competition events, the FAI things, and was beginning to compete uh, more in that. Uh, is there anything you can uh, think or would like to also include uh, your memories, anything that comes to mind that we haven't talked about for, the, for that particular year? Not that I can remember right off. I mean, I was just, everything was a blur. I was in a big hurry to get it all done at that contest because I had, you know, maybe only 60% of the time to actually compete. I wasn't there. So yeah, I had to rush back to get to classes. I had to, to rush back and forth to get things done. Well, thank you very much uh, for talking to us about the 1962 Glenview Nats and your experiences. Well, thank you.